Thank you very much, Jonas. Yeah, yeah. yeah thanks. So tell us a little bit about it um, and what splits us from the living dinner and drinks, if I don't run out of energy, um, is this interview. But I think we are all very, very curious about, yeah, about how you see the world. Because lots of people told me this guy knows how to build companies, but he understands the social world. And you know, when people talk about you understanding the social world, I would like to know from you what do you think they mean. Um, yeah, I mean, um, with Dove Smash, we are um, we think a lot about how a graph looks like. Um, so I think that's a it's a big part. Um, we are thinking about how do people interact with each other. So for us, uh, privacy is very important. So we want to make sure that in the long run, whenever you are on Dove Smash, and no matter how big your graph grows in terms of the friends that you're having on the platform, the experience stays the same where uh, we are seeing platforms out there where you are having more and more friends on the platform, um, but uh, the experience changes. So the creation goes down because suddenly you have so many friends on the platform that you don't feel comfortable anymore on, on sharing with them. And that's something where uh, we believe uh, that we can uh, do that better in terms of building the graph, making sure that you always feel comfortable on the platform. And then, of course, if it comes down to uh, communication, we want to get as close to real life communication as possible. So if you think about texting, um, that's cool, but it's not really like real life, right? The two of us are also talking right now, and we could also do that via Skype. You could get me in on the screen, um, but it's much more uh, a nicer, like the feeling is much better to have me sitting here. So uh, that's something that we try to achieve, and uh, video is a great format for that. So uh, getting as close as possible to the real life communication. So while texting is probably just grasping it in your brain and you're far away from it, Hearing sound is already a text message. Seeing is always something else. But I think you are talking, it's becoming a lot more interesting because you stimulate more senses. Absolutely. I mean, like uh, text has just this one layer, and video has a moving photo in a way, has sound. Uh, then you are seeing that person, um, so it's much more natural. OK. Now, the sounds you have on the platform, do you pay license fees for that? Uh, that, that's a good question. Um, I mean, um, of course, we are having um, uh, content on the platform where we do not own the copyrights. Um, uh, what is very um, important to understand that on our platform, only 20% of the content is music. So most of the stuff that actually works very well is um, content um, that is on uh, trending uh, pop culture content. And um, we're uh, in very good uh, terms with the music labels. Um, so that's something uh, where we are trying to figure that out at the moment. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy about that situation there. You told me earlier when I asked you, you know, 100 million users is absolutely amazing. But you know, we know a lot of companies who have many, many users. And search used to be a thing like that. And then it became a cost center. Um, it's expensive to power many, many users. So at some point, you do need, and I guess you already have, as you told me, a revenue model. Yeah, um, that's a good question. I mean, we have run so far um, more than uh, 50 campaigns on our platform. So we're testing monetization right now. I'm, I'm very excited about that, very happy with the early numbers. So what you can actually do um, on the platform, we have the sound content on our platform. And we have a lot of uh, big consumer brands who are interested in getting their content in front of our users so that their, our users can create uh, videos with their content, share that to friends and family. And that's a great marketing. Way. And you go through media agencies or you go directly to the brands? Directly to the brands. Directly to the brands. Is it hard? Um, they do understand our product very well, so they love our products. But so it's a new format, right? It's a new it, ad format in a way. Yeah, it's a, it's a new format, so of course it, uh, they need to understand it. But uh, videos like uh, Jimmy Fallon, uh, who's also using our product, they help for sure. So we have a lot of celebrities. So how did you get on that show? Um, that's, I would say, building a great product. Uh, that's how we got on the show. So um, we didn't reach out to them. Um, so they uh, find it by themselves. And yeah, yeah, there's a lot of celebrities using that. And so that's something where also uh, Jimmy Fallon liked the product. So he's now also having his own content on our platform. So that's Unbelievable. How, how old is the firm? Um, the company is a little bit older, actually. But we started uh, Dub Smash 18 months ago. So we are still quite young. 
how do you manage with all this huge growth? And I mean, we are always first spotting great entrepreneurs, as you know. We got a bit of help from your shareholders who tipped us off and said, you know, you should get the top smash guys on stage. And we yeah. looked into it. Um, but is it a crazy time right now? Can you still concentrate on building the business? or? It's easy to get distracted with the world's famous. I, I would say um, not going to too many conferences helps. Um, so <laughs> um, really focusing on the product is important. Um, so uh, that's, uh, that's what we're doing. We're building a product, uh, being focused on that. Is there uh, a lot more to build, or is the product as such where you say, you know, it can stay for the next six to nine months, and I'm scaling it now? Um, I would uh, like I think of our company a little bit like a Netflix for product so what I believe is that a company like a Netflix they need to create constantly new content for their users and what we need to do is we need to constantly build new features so that our users are engaged on the platform so um, how long they I mean you know in online games we had class Kersing early on stage you know social Farmville was like if two, three weeks, some other games longer. Yeah. Is it a game or is it like using WhatsApp, which you really use all the time? I mean, now after launching the messaging platform, mm -hmm. we are seeing uh, similar numbers to other messengers out there. Of course, with uh, what we had before, the creation platforms, uh, that was a, a different game. So what's game? <laughs> what's your game for Dub Smash? You want to stay independent, build a really big company, or like others, like ICQ from Israel back in the past, saw to AOL early, I guess. But I mean, you don't need to tell me. I, I, I mean, we're not, we not planning on, like, we're really focused on, on building a great product, uh, giving our users a better experience. So that's something that we haven't talked about. And um, I think for us right now, it's great to be independent because we can fully focus on the product. And all the millions of investors sitting in this room here, if, if, if they want to get in touch with you and put lots of money in, um, they have to join the queue? Or what's your fundraising plan? Um, I mean, we, we weren't actively planning anything. Um, we just launched uh, four weeks ago. Um, the numbers are a bit overwhelming, I have to admit. Um, and that's something that is also appreciated by... Um, you have to admit that, that the numbers are, even for you, a little yeah, overwhelming. Yeah, I mean, we, we, have, we, have, we have seen, like, if you have seen 100 million users before, uh, then uh, seeing those numbers now is something that even we weren't expecting. So um, that's, that's great to see. And of course, um, investors are responding accordingly to that. Where do you think you sit, hit the next 100 million? Um, not sure about that. Well, let's well, see. Well, I hope it's going to be as soon as possible. And again, I'm very honored you're here. We, yeah, thanks we, for having we, me. We, we thought that people stay for our leaving drinks and dinner a little bit longer. But uh, for the ones who are here, we are very pleased that you stay and you hear the story. And I hope you come back to London and we, we will show you full house. Um, thank you so much for, for being at NOAA. Yeah, and I wish you the me. best of luck thanks. for your company. Thank you, Jonas. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks.